Hello Lego fans, Jarf Bricks here with another update. So uh, my Lego Ninjago City Gardens that I ordered eight days ago is still not arrived. My police station that I ordered 22 days ago has still not arrived. So I've just been um, tinkering around in the city, moving things around in preparation for it. And then I got bored and thought I'd make a start on my um, back cave as you know from the thumbnail of this video and uh, it's come and gone quite nicely I didn't realize how much um, how many bricks of various shapes and sizes that I had in dark bluish gray and light bluish gray uh, but it turns out I got quite a bit done so I'll show you some of the little things that I've done first and then we'll go back to the reason that you're looking at this video the back cave so first of all I've added a few cars to the city I've made a space there which is for the Ninjago City Gardens. I'll show you where I move that to in a second. Um, I've replaced all of this paved area and uh, for the, the light bluish grey just because it was dark bluish grey and with the colour of the road um, it, it looked a little bit daft, a bit like that side um, but a lot more of it. So uh, I'm hoping to um, change that so that that also is light bluish gray uh, all the way down as you can see. Um, that was just because of the design I had on the previous one. I have um, changed some. So I've changed the uh, pet uh, the vets there um, and a couple more which I'll show you in a minute on the other side. I've um, changed the, uh, what's that called, car wash and that was because when you bought, I bought this set you got the car wash with it so I'd already made a mock car wash with the last one so I just sort of integrated the previous one with this one so uh, like the, the water that's dropping um, I've got an extra, the, the two um, washing wheels um, I've got the one above as well so pleased with how that turned out. I think it does look better um, and fits in really nicely next to the tuning garage in the Octan petrol station. So I moved the museum. Um, I quite like it there. Got a few alleyways next to it. Um, just toying with using these as perhaps there's the roof going down. I have a ton of them uh, that were from these roads. Um, I replaced all of the bricks on this one. So if you recall previously it was the red um, profile brick. Uh, but I need those bricks to extend this skyscraper. So I just thought I will use them. And I had a ton of these uh, modified bricks with the ridge in. Well not a that many because I had to put um, a line of blue in it to make it uh, all fit and I just wanted to do the sides because coming from this side I, you could see um, the, the misshapen bricks which I wasn't bothered about uh, before because you couldn't see it but now you can um, so uh, from a distance it looks better previously it, it looked like that so that's another one that uh, I want to fix because they were they did have buildings next to them so yeah, i wasn't that bothered but now you can see them i need to sort that out um so i was going to put the police station there but i've decided i'm going to keep the museum there i like it um and the new police station when it comes is going to go there next to the uh, uh, train station and where the museum was i've moved central perk next to the hospital now uh, I don't like the hospital size uh, because it's not on a 32 by 32 or 16. Um, it's on a, a plate that I, I bought from Wilkinson. It's not a Lego plate. And just knowing that that's there annoys me. Um, I did have a few fake Lego bricks uh, mixed in with some of the buildings. And um, I've started to get them all out. Uh, that one 
is got a bit of fake Lego mixed in with it. Most of it is still Lego, of course. Um, so I do need to change that. I need to completely dismantle it, take all of the uh, Mega Blocks and Wilkinson's versions of bricks. There's not that many, but um, and then rebuild it and put it on a 32 by 32 base plate. So it fits in nicely. So there's no big gaps anywhere. And then I've put the Sesame Street and I've just put them uh, there in that corner. This, of course, is where Wayne Manor is going. Um, but now to the main event. Uh, this is what I've been making this week. If you've been following me on Instagram, you would have seen the Bat Cave. So we ordered um, a Batmobile as I didn't have one, which I really like. It's a really nice design. Um, I had to take off the wings which I put up there and made it into a, a bit of a backpack. Uh, they can that could come off there and go on to um, Batman's back as a glider. And then so starting over on this side, my 1989 Batman. I'm trying to get a bit of a waterfall feature coming down there. And there's all of the back rockery the here um, all the way around it was three tiles thick and I used every angled and curved plate all the way around just to get the basis um, of the uh, uh, you can see there I thought I built it up quite nicely before the slopes came on here um, if you've seen Batman Begins actually no it's, is it Batman Begins yeah I can't remember now, but it might be Dark Knight actually in the cave. He has um, these black cubes that come up out of the water and uh, that he walks across. So I thought I'd put them on and the um, transparent tiles on the top just to show that it's wet. So when he goes up the spiral staircase, this is where the back computer is going to go. I've not completed that. Uh, as uh, I've ordered a few stickers and some bits and bobs to complete that. Do have a few here from the um, Batman Lego movie Batcave, which most of it's been integrated into this already. So <clears throat> when those stickers arrive, I will finish making them. This is the chemical lab. And I'm not gonna have a prison in here because Batman doesn't bring bad guys to his secret hidden layer so I don't see the reason why there should be a prison uh, so that will be going uh, I've just put these um, panels at the back so you know the idea that Batman um, to put a computer system in it's got to have a little bit of work to be wired in so that's the idea behind the panels but above uh, it goes back to the cave profile system with all the slopes. I wanted to use various gray and dark gray. Black, I didn't want to use because you can't see a thing. Um, dark gray, I like the idea of mixing it up. So that's what I've done, but I've run out. So that's why I've not completed it here. I've put panels on that side as well, which again, when I've got more bricks, I will make that look a bit more like a cave. In the middle there, it's going to have the bat symbol, which is on order. Um, and then on this side, if we start from the top, the various bat suits, and then his, his gear. And underneath, we've got sort of all the um, equipment that he's building and stuff like that. And you weren't thinking, how does he get up there? Well, this moves like so. So it's just on a ball hinge, but it's pretty pleased with the way that's turned out, very secure. Um, the two uh, stickers that are on the launch control in the background, they were just sort of temporary things I was thinking about using for the computer. Um, so they won't be staying there. Uh, Come around here, this is all of the captured gear. You've got Ra's al Ghul's sword, um, the whip of Catwoman, 
the umbrella of um, Penguin and then that just uh, opens and shuts and then here um, it's just is safe where he keeps his secure ones. So this is where we are is kryptonite and um, in the middle of that you've got the mother box if you can see it and focus on it. So that's uh, kept under there and then coming down the stairs we have the mechanical area so this is where he does his work on his vehicles the engine there's a hubcap there and a few bits and bobs and these arms function as well it's hard to see because of the dark colors and then the cave in the background similar to the other side i've got a lot more of those um, gray cheese wedges here on order as well so um, they will be dotted around the back cave and then that's it that is my back cave so far so as i say i've got a brick link order got three brick link orders on the way uh, with some bits to add to it uh, it's still a work in progress but i'm uh, really pleased with um, the way it's turned out so far let us know if you've got any suggestions to improve it let us know what you think of the back cave and uh, I will put an update. I'm still building on it. When these Brickling orders, I will continue. And then my next um, city update will probably be an overview of this completed, hopefully. Okay, so thank you for watching and goodbye.